Bang on boys, welcome everybody back to another video. So as you guys know, lots of my followers, lots of my subscribers actually know about my objectives guide series. And we, whenever there's a new objective, we go through it, whether it's a player objective, we've done a few pack objectives, milestones objectives, and I just give you guys my tips. Now with these icon swaps one, it's actually my most popular video on the channel with 150,000 views, I believe, on the first batch of icon swaps. So today this is the second batch of icon swaps free. As you know, I've gone ahead and they have released another nine tokens. They were released nine last patch so obviously if you have saved all your tokens from last time you can get up to 18 icon swap tokens now with these it's, it's very hard to do these like objective guides um, because usually from my player objective guides we'll build a team there's not really a squad builder that you can build because all of these require different players and they all require first owned players which I don't know what first owned players you have so instead today we're just gonna go over all of these objectives step by step online and offline and I'll give you guys my tips on how you can complete it fast or just speed up the process. So starting off with the online ones first, we've got score in 10 separate matches using the Liga players in the live foot friendly one league. Um, we've also got Serie A and Premier League, so obviously the English League, the Italian League and the La Liga. Now with these, basically at least 8 first owned La Liga players. Now lots of you should know what first owned is, but if not, you just have to search your club for first owner players. Um, so what you want to do, obviously it is through the friendly section, play online, and lots of you guys watching this will know what I'm talking about, but just in case you you don't one league right here you can only have one league and I have been asked this a lot on my past videos yes this does include the bench the bench also has to be from that same league so for example you're just going to want to make lots of separate squads build a full Premier League team for uh, a full Serie A team and a full I think it's a La Liga team right um now what you want to do is you need at least eight first owner players now first owner players once again lots of you will know what it is but if you do not it means players that you have got first owner you're the first owner of for example, uh, for example, Hector Ballerin, obviously I completed this objective, therefore I'm the first owner of this card, as you can see, uh, at kind of at the top right of your screen, you can see brought for first owner, same with Joe Willock, once he's an SBC, so you need at least eight first owner players, which I have got more than eight, you want to build a team, and make sure you've got all eight Prem players, just build a full Premier League team, um, same goes for Serie A, same goes for La Liga as well, once again, first owner Serie A players, I'd be able to use my Lukaku, I'd be able to use my Insigne and my Alexis Sanchez, and simple stuff like that. Now, one tip that I will give if you guys do not have first owner players, um, the best way is literally through the silver upgrades in the squad builder challenges. Obviously, lots of you guys know you can do the bronze upgrades, trade bronzes for two silver cards, you can trade um, silver cards for the gold cards as well. So if you are running short, on first owner players because the only way you can get first owner players if you don't have them is by packing them if you've got little to no coins you're really struggling to get those first owner players from the Premier League Serie A or La Liga um, then simply lads do these free gold common players you get free gold commons and you just got to hope one of them are in, in, in that like you know in that league that you do get first owner uh, you can do the two rare gold as well but it's like put the ones that you don't need into the two rare who knows you may pack something in the end but if you do not have first owner players then simply the silver upgrade does help out a lot to fill the club up with the first owner players but if your club is really naked worst case worst you just have to grind out division rivals and take untradeable and then you can obviously hope you can get packed some first owner players that way so my number one tip for these online ones to get them done quickly is simply golden goal now lots of you guys watching this you guys will know what a golden goal is i swear like 99 percent of the community does so whoever scores first leaves or no sorry whoever scores first your opponent should leave not all the time do not force it on someone now if you are doing golden goal just my uh my two cents worth of advice right first of all do not pause for your opponent to quit i know it's split some people don't mind it personally if someone pauses for me to quit i'm just i'm not going to waste my time and i'll quit but like i just don't just don't pause if, if they want to do golden goal they'll pause it and quit it's just kind of a little bit rude in a way um obviously not all people think that but some people do so if you are doing golden goal just don't be toxic if you score first skip the replay and if your opponent quits your opponent quits and i can confirm i'd say like nine out of ten times your opponent will quit um the only time they won't as you can see there's through assist uh assist 10 for this assist Six. Uh, outside of box here so EA have done this again which is really painful now the one time your opponent most likely won't quit is if he is doing the La Liga icon swaps where you have to score outside of the box goals here we're trying to give it outside box goals so if you do face someone doing the Liga then they might not do golden goal um, because EA have added the stupid score outside of a box uh, thing again which I do actually have a tip for the outside of the box shots simply message your opponent um, you could either ask I'll let you score an outside of a box shot you let me and then you go obviously 
just jam the controller, let him have the win. You just have to jam the controller for the 90 minutes. There is that way because naturally trying to score them outside of the box with the Varan auto blocks is going to be challenging. Um, but another way is you could message your opponent and say, do not just do normal golden goal. But if I score first, you let me get an outside of the box goal, then quit. So really with this one, you just have to communicate with your opponent if he's also doing the Liga icon swaps and try work something up that way. Because if you do play normally, outside of the box goals can be very, very rough, especially with the goalkeeper's and the centre back auto blocks this year. These squad battle ones are relatively easy. Working from the bottom upwards, we've got silvers win seven squad battle matches on at least world class with 11 silver players. We've got uh, win seven squad battle matches on world class with 11 UCL players, 11 Argentinians, 11 Brazilians. We've got win 15 weekend league matches, which if you do play champs and you are a gold two player, you'll be able to get this done. Or even a gold three 15 win player, then you'll be able to get this done easily. Score in 20 separate rival matches using first own players. If, I don't know if you play Rivals much, if you guys do play Rivals much, but if you do, then obviously you've got that, and obviously first own players. If you have a full tradable team, like a full second hand, like if you've brought your whole team, but you just have one player that you have packed, like your striker, like an SBC you've completed, score with him, and you'll be completely fine. Now, with these ones, lads, you can basically... Right, so 7, 14, uh, 28. This is meant to take 28 games to get these four squad battles ones. You can do it in 14 if you wanted to. So what you want to do is you can see UCL and, you know, UCL and Brazilian, right? So UCL and Brazil are two separate ones. You want to do a full UCL Brazilian squad. So a full squad of UCL type Brazilian cards, UCL rare, UCL common, and then obviously just play those games with those with the squad. And you'll get two birds out with one stone. Same with this one, 11 Argentinians and 11 silvers so you'll just use a full Argentinian silver team that way you can get two done per basically one so you're basically splitting the time in half with this one um, like I said full UCL Brazilian team and full silver Argentinian team God battles as well I'm not too sure if there is a glitch um, obviously if there was a glitch where you like there will be lots on YouTube, we're not going to explain the glitch today. Um, but basically you go into the box and then you like hold the trigger or something. Um, if you guys want, I could get a video out on that afterwards. But what you want to do, or what I do with Icon Swaps anyway, is you just play the shittest team, a 63 rating with 39 chemistry. Go ahead, obviously it has to be on world class. And then you're just going to want to play with the team. And like I said, um, UCL Brazil, you can have a look here. Uh, UCL, just set it to UCL Brazil down here. You can do UCL rare, UCL common. I believe even team of a group stages count, so make sure to search your class. Club. UCL Brazil, um, I think there's quite a bit, yep, so happy days, you guys can just build a full UCL Brazilian team and get two birds out with one stone, build a full team like this, you can search through them, you've got Nito, Felipe, Anderson in there, I think you've got actually a few pages, because, okay, you've got, basically, you didn't do this, but I will warn you guys, um, or oh, I say warn you guys, it could be a good thing if you pack one, Brazilian UCLs and Argentinian UCLs, or Argentinian Silvers, will be going up a lot as well, and obviously, Argentinian Silver is a very, very common type, so happy days, you will have no problem with that at all, like I said, that basically splits it down from 28 games to 14 games. Happy days. As I said, literally all you want to do is just keep playing the shitty teams on world class difficulty. You should have no problem facing a 63 rating squad when I've got a CD, a Northern Irish CDM called Alfie McCamot. Uh, on one chemistry at striker, you'll have no issue whatsoever, but I've got strikers at centre back, so you'll be absolutely fine in this sense, just play world class, and then after you play that game, what you can do is you can press square, and you can refresh, and it'll just keep giving you shit teams, happy days boys, if you guys do have any tips down below for anyone else, or any questions, I will get back to them, obviously with time zones being in New Zealand, it will be hard to reply instantly, but nonetheless, I will try my best to get back to your comment, moral of the story, online, if you don't have first owner players, complete the silver upgrades, and hope you can get some first owner players gold and goal score outside of a box ones you just want to uh, cooperate with your opponent whether you do gold and goal if you score first um you your opponent lets you get an outside of a box and then quit or you let each other score outside of a box um for the squad battle ones keep refreshing playing the really shitty teams on world class um and i mean argentinian silvers and ucl brazil and you're splitting the games in half hopefully this video did help some of you guys out it's been your boy davis and if this did help you out Make sure to drop a like and subscribe, it's completely free. Until next time boys, see you guys later.